Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm back again. It's your boy Schmap. Uh, I just wanted to uh, talk about again the uh, islands in the South China Sea. You know, things are getting uh, a little more tense. Countries are stepping up and uh, putting their foot down, saying, you know, this belongs to us. This is where we've done things uh, for a while now. Um, just recently, uh, Filipino fishermen weren't allowed to uh, head over to uh, an atoll or one of those small islands that they usually do their fishing at because the Chinese saying, hey, we, it belongs to us, you can't do this. And the, Ch uh, the Filipinos have been doing this for uh, years since World War II. So, you know, things getting a little more tight. Uh, Chinese uh, stepping up their game saying that the islands belong to them and uh, also now more islands are popping up dude Damn. I mean we talked about this we discussed this and we've seen footage of what the Chinese been doing even when the US has come around so uh, I want you to take a look at this news clip that I found and uh, I want you to tell me what's going on okay what are the islands being made of how are they being made and what are they being made for anyway uh, so check this video clip out because I found what I believe is the secret and the key to how they're making the island and what they're making them with. All right, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting edition of Witted Production News. I'm your host, Harry Bausek, and tonight again we speak about the uh, Spratly Islands and the conflict in the South China Sea. Uh, news sources say that another island has popped up. This makes hundreds of these little islands popping up out of nowhere in the Spratly Island chain in the South China Sea. Many international countries are stepping up their game as well, putting their foot down, saying that these islands do not only belong to China, but also belong to many of the countries in the area, or in the region. New footage shows the US and the Australian and Filipino ship routes have been stopped or have been questioned while surveying the area. Sources say another island has popped up, a very large island shown to... Oh, hang on, just a second. New footage? Okay. Alright, so we're going to go to a video clip here. Uh, I just received word that another island has again popped up, uh, built in 24 hours. Crazy! And uh, we want to show footage of this, what it looks like, and uh, the uh, location, okay? Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, just a second. All right? Uh huh. Okay, oh, all right. All right, folks, this just in. Uh, headline news, breaking news here. Uh, U.S. Navy, multinational navies are on high alert due to another island being created in 24 hours. This is. This is just outrageous, you know, these islands are popping out of nowhere. And uh, what I'm getting a report right now in my ear, in, in my ear, uh, uh, yes, uh -huh. okay, all right. So uh, we, have a f uh, we have footage of uh, recon aircraft looking down at another island that has popped up. This one, a very large island, possibly a military base or headquarters. Chinese Navy stopped Filipino fishermen from coming over to an island that they've been doing their fishing for many, many years after World War II. So we'll take a look right now, see what the island looks like and what the uh, plan. Hopefully we can see what the plan is, all right? Papa, Oscar, Oscar, Papa. This is the United States Air Force. How do you copy? This is still Chinese Navy. We not done make our plan for a bigger Chinatown in San Francisco. We want entire country. Papa, Oscar, Oscar, Papa, this is the United States Air Force, how do you copy? We need bigger Chinatown, San Fran too small. Wow, just just crazy stuff, guys. So, again, I'm your host, Harry Bausek. We'll bring you more as more news comes into Witted Production Studios. And uh, we hope that you guys remain calm and pray for the best. Peace. <laughs>